What's up guys, it's Mike with the guns. It's about 10 o'clock at night on Saturday. Figured it's a good time to hang out with my friends. So thank you for coming by. I wanted to do a quick video because I just got a package recently. I got it a couple of days ago. I've been lagging on opening it. So I'm using the video as an excuse to get it open now and finally get it organized where everything needs to go. Uh, just a little background. I've had this peak case for a little while now. Uh, they make them for a few different guns. This one is for the Maxim Defense PDX. And the reason I'm bringing this up because this is relevant to the package that I just got, obviously. So this one is, is made for the Maxim Defense PDX. Um, I don't have the Maxim yet. That's on the way. I've got my SBR. I'm waiting for the form to, to clear with my local gun shop. They've got it waiting there. But I've been using it for my St. Edge PDW, which is like the same exact size as the Maxim Defense PDX. So it really fits perfectly for the Saint. But as soon as I got the Saint, I started adding accessories to it that didn't fit where they needed to fit. So I didn't really do any prep before this video. I, I didn't open the package either that I got. So I, I kind of just started the camera and, and we'll go through it. I grabbed my case out and, uh, and we'll go over it. So it, it came from the Maxim Defense PDX, which this is the outline of it here. It's like the same outline as the Saint, almost exactly, especially lengthwise, it fits exactly. So in that sense, it fits, but when I added some optics to it, I've got a red dot, which is a little bit larger than most, and the block that they added, um, which is normally perfect, but it, it doesn't fit for the particular red dot that I had. So I had to cut an additional piece off with a razor which wasn't a big deal, but it, it looks a little jagged. Uh, I kind of like things to be perfect. And I had a light in the, in the front. So this is the part I just removed up here for the optics. I had put a light on the front of my gun also. So I had to cut this part out with a razor also. So it, it really wasn't a lot of work or anything like that. It wasn't a big deal. And I got it to the point, let me grab my gun here. I've got it over on the chair. This gun's clear and everything. It, it's, I already checked it. What am I doing? Take the mag off. So it fits in here perfectly now because I had to do some adjustments with the razor. Put the mag in here too. The, the mag cutouts are perfect. Let me see if I could see it on camera while I'm talking. So it fits perfectly lengthwise. I had to do the cutout for the light to fit here um, and the cutout for the optics, which like I mentioned, it, it's got jagged edges in the foam now, which I don't really like, but it wasn't a big deal. But the thing I really wanted to resolve was because I had to, and I went kind of tight over here too. I wanted to keep this shape a little bit because it's about to border into this magazine slot right here. And it comes really close. Um, really it would have been, it would have went right through the wall basically just because it wasn't planned for this particular setup that I've got here. So I got to thinking, I was like, there's gotta be a better way. So I, I contacted them over at peak case company. Uh, I sent them a picture of what I was dealing with. Um, not really dealing with, I just sent them a picture of, of what I wanted. Um, and they got back to me um, pretty quickly and said they could make a custom insert, which is something I mentioned a while back, but I forgot about it for, for the past couple of weeks, months, whatever it's been. So I, I finally had them do it. Uh, I'm excited about the custom insert because it's gonna have the shape cut out properly for, it, it's gonna be big enough for up here and it's gonna be a, a custom cut out. So it's gonna be a nice clean cut uh, it's going to have the cutout slot over here too. I don't really know exactly what the shape is going to be like. Um, it's going to add a little extra space, I'm sure, just to make sure that there's enough room for it to get in there. But again, it's going to be a nice clean cutout. And I think they're probably going to move this magazine slot over to the left a little bit uh, just so it, it accommodates for this space. 
So let's go ahead and open up the package that they sent me. I haven't opened it yet. Honestly, I really haven't even broken the seal and looked at it. Um, but I know that it's gonna be a perfect fit, honestly, because if it's not, I'm not gonna show you the video. So if you're watching this far, then it was a perfect fit. So let's get this thing open. It says do not open with sharp objects. So I grabbed the closest sharp object that I could find. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not really gonna open the whole thing like that. I'm just gonna kind of get the tip open over here with my sharp object. And then I will take note of what they said because now that I got it started up at the top, I'm gonna put my sharp object aside because I don't know what it's gonna look like in here now. It could have the insert just sitting right up there, like right at the top surface. I don't know if it's good or bad that I didn't look at it beforehand, but I, I didn't really want to waste any time. Like I said, it's 10 o'clock at night on Saturday. I don't feel like making a video too late, so now is the time. Video is gonna take a little bit longer than expected because I've gotta go through all these things now. Let me get this on the floor. You don't need to see the box. Grab the insert that they gave me. I'm looking at it back and forth, comparing it to the one that I've got over there. I'm pretty excited. It looks like it's, uh, it looks like it really is gonna be a perfect fit. You know, when I sent them an, an email, I, I called back also to confirm. I was like, you got the email, you got the picture that I sent, and, and, and he kind of laughed, laughed at it. He's like, yeah, we got it, you know, we, we got it. we're gonna take care of it. Um, but I, I worry about everything, and I'm like, all right, I just wanted to make sure, you know, if you have any questions, let me know, and, I, and he's like, no, we got it, we got it. So, so far from looking at it, it looks like he was right. He knew what he was talking about. It looks like they got it pretty damn good, man. Okay, so he did mention this. This bottom section is for a new version that they have, which can possibly hold a silencer, uh, if you want, which is different from the one, let me bring this over here. So this is a slot for a silencer, which he did mention, where um, this other one had the slot for the magazine, which you've still got a slot for the magazine over here anyway, which I see they did move to the left a little bit for me, which is gonna be perfect. I see the slot will definitely be big enough for the gun for the optics that I've got up there. I'm excited, this is cool. Let me look at the light. I'm gonna grab the gun out in one second. I just wanna look over everything. It's looking good. Looking good. All right, let me get this out of here. So this all comes out in one piece. Let me take that top optic slot out. See how this fits. And there's extra magazine slots on the bottom also, so you've got additional magazine slots already. On the bottom, there's two magazine slots um, built in, and you could fit more magazines in the spare slots, which are even larger. So losing one magazine slot for the silencer is not really a big deal. Um, it's actually pretty cool if you ever do add a silencer or anything down the line, or if, if I have another accessory that would go in there, which, I. I'm sure I'd have something that'll go in there. This is the moment. Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. I told you, I knew it was gonna fit perfectly. Cause like I said, if it didn't, I wasn't showing you the video. But I'm glad it did. Let me put this aside. So this is what the old one looks like. I did a pretty good job. I mean, I'm pretty careful with stuff, but you see right here where I cut it with the razor. I mean, I, I couldn't get the glue off the, the felt material down there because it wasn't made f for, for me to cut it with a razor. It's just something I kind of custom did. Dude, as far as these cases go, if you search for a case for the Maxim PDX, this is it. Like, 
you can't choose through which case you want. If you want a case that's made for the Maxim PDX, or in this case, the St. Edge PDW, this is it. Unless you want to grab one of those plastic cases with the little square foams and you have to pull out all the little square, square bits um, and make your custom size, which is cool. Th those work out pretty good from what I've seen. This just feels better, looks better. It's just made for it. Uh, and it wasn't that much money. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much it was. You'd have to, to give them a call or send them an email over at PK's company, I guess, and ask them. Um, but it was worth it. That's why I ordered it. And I'm looking at it now. It fits. He, he was right. No worries. He, he got it exactly for me. Um, but yeah, I did, did my best cutting the other one out with a razor. But... I didn't have to, and I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have just contacted them beforehand because now this factory foam that I had is altered is probably the best word for it, when it didn't have to be. I could have just kept it the way that it was and had the, the custom one made. Uh, this is great. Really happy about this. I think I'm gonna have another custom one made when I get my Maxim um, PDX because when I get that, that's gonna be an SBR. I'm gonna have a vertical grip on it and I'll need something made for that as well. Let me get this in the case just so I can show it to you. How everything looks. Pretty good. It really is a perfect fit. Up here too is perfect fit. The front by the light which I added is a perfect fit. Um, up here was key where the red dot is, like I mentioned before, because on the original one, the magazine slot was a little bit to that, that side and it was bordering this area. So having this move to this side just slightly, um, it made all the difference. So if you guys ever want to have a little custom thing like that made for your gun, uh, I think they do customs for other guns too. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta ask them, call them, but they did it for this gun. And it worked out great. Really happy about it. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys soon. Make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I will show you what I get next. Thanks, guys.